You know, it took me about a year to start hating the 9-11 victims' families. I don't hate all of them. I hate about probably about 10 of them. Any of these 9-11 truthers who I've been telling you for years are dangerous. Guy Fox. This guy was a, a British uh, terrorist who tried to overthrow the government by blowing up Parliament and killing everybody in it. Paul's supporters called the donations, and I'm quoting, a money bomb. It's really not the way I would go, you know, tying my movement in with a historical terrorist attack. You're right. Uh, there's a, a strain of isolationism and anarchy in the American tradition, which uh, Ron Paul is tapping into. Uh, I think it's very significant that he chose Guy Fox. Uh, there are plenty of, unfortunately, libertarian websites which are indistinguishable from the anti-American left these days. Yeah. So, totally in bed with the Islamo-fascists um, and a turn against this country. Turn against this country. This country. This country. Where am I wrong? The Ron Paul Revolution. I think it's meant to be a catchy slogan, but I fear some of his fringe supporters are taking the word revolution too literally. What Glenn Beck is saying is a talking point being given out to the media. And this is going to drive the, the conspiracy theorists left. They're crazy about me. I'll have this. They're making me say this. Help. Because we were seeing Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity say it. We were seeing CNN hosts say it. We were seeing Joe Scarborough say it. And I said, that's a talking point. And then suddenly he started saying a few months ago, I'm going to expose the FEMA camps. If these things exist, that's bad, and we will cover it. If they don't exist, it's irresponsible to not debunk this story. We have an independent group of this program looking into it, turning over every stone. I am going to bring you this story. He announced a few weeks ago, I'm going to have popular mechanics, the yellow journalist, uh, on to debunk all of this. So I asked James from Popular Mechanics to do an investigation on several projects. The first one is the FEMA camp. Yes, and so we put a reporter on this, and what's so interesting here, we, we're, we're, we're waiting to really do a definitive deep dig on this. We don't right. like to just come out and say, oh, we've debunked it, you know, after we've looked at it for two right. days. And how is Glenn Beck debunking it? I have predicted tonight, we'll see if I'm right, that he will do a straw man and focus on the websites that are getting it wrong. And what we did was we looked into these claims. You know, you can't go and visit every one of the 600 sites that some of these sure. conspiracy theorists claim. So we started looking at the ones that are most popular the on biggest. the Internet. And I said, well, look out, folks. He's just trying to get your confidence to then discredit it later. We mailed letters to Glenn Beck. I know people that work in his office. I contacted him and I said, here's the proof. If he wants it, we stand by to work with Mr. Beck. If he isn't going to come out next week and say arrest all of us, basically, like he was doing a year ago. First of all, I, on the FEMA prison thing, I know we've been in contact with your office and we would appreciate any help that you have. I want to make sure we're turning over every stone on anything because there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of crazy stuff that is being said about these things. And Cause, you know, Beck says he's been doing months of research and they've been having trouble finding it. He's doing research. He can't ever bring any facts. And he makes little jokes about, ooh, the government's going to get me or, oh, I'm being censored on Fox and calls us conspiracy theorists. And I'm predicting Lynn Beck is going to attack us this way. They're going to show the 1990s video of the closed down Amtrak train system up by Chicago. So we started looking at the ones that are most popular the on biggest. the Internet. Okay. And let's show the video. First, show me the video that is on the Internet. This is uh, one of the so-called, I guess, a death camp. This is something where they're showing uh, a, a so-called concentration camp. These are turnstiles. Uh, this is in a secure behind the, the, the fence. I don't know how they got this video when it was behind the fence, but they went in and got this video. Like so many of these things, the truth is actually fairly evident. This is an Amtrak repair facility in Beach Grove, Indiana. The, uh, the, the woman who made this video initially claims that it's some kind of American Auschwitz and they've outfitted buildings with gas and they've got these strange turnstiles. In fact, it's, um, it is a repair facility. They're going to do that. And then what they're going to do is they're going to show the photos that are all over the web uh, in Mississippi and Louisiana of mock 
Bosnia Herzegovina slash Kosovo training camps, because the signs are in that you know Slavic language, where, where it has machine gun nests, checkpoints, barbed wire as a refugee camp, and they send the troops through for drills. Um, show me the uh, pictures of uh, I think this is Camp Grayling. Do we have the picture of the watchtowers? This is pretty spooky. This is where Americans are currently being held, I believe they're saying. Well, people say all kinds of things, and these pictures have been floating around the Internet for more than 10 years. Okay. In fact, Camp Grayling is the largest natural, National Guard training facility in the U.S. They train Army, Navy, Marines, and uh, one of the groups they train is military police. And in fact, one of the, the functions they train them for is handling prisoners of war in uh, a battle zone like Iraq. And they're going to say, see, people said this was a camp. It's not really a camp. It's a place where they're doing drills. Oh, see, this is really just an Amtrak train track. We went out there, and yeah, it's got barbed wire facing in, but it's not really a camp. Do we have the video with audio? Because if we don't, I don't really care. Um, the video with the audio about the, the boarded up buildings with the gas chambers. Do you have that? In yet another fenced area, we see a large warehouse building at the end with the electronic turnstiles in front of it. Okay, that they were putting gas heaters of some sort in there. Right, and what we found out is, uh, first of all, one of those buildings has been knocked down. The other ones were upgraded. Their heating system was obsolete, and more than 15 years ago. What am I predicting Glenn Beck's going to do tonight? What have I been predicting for weeks he's going to do? He is going to come out and say, look at this. This is just a regular prison. And they're taking photos of it and saying it's a camp. Oh, look at this. There's a kernel of truth. They have introduced a bill for during emergencies to have FEMA places for folks to go. I mean, they've got to do that, you know, like Katrina. Oh, look at this. This is an Army training facility for a refugee camp simulation. Oh, look at what they... I mean, I know how they operate. I know how Popular Mechanics operates. I mean, I was right about Glenn Beck setting you up when he said he was going to expose the FEMA camps, and I said, you watch, he's going to debunk them. Well, trains, I believe Auschwitz had trains. I'm just saying, Jim. Well, once you go down that road, you can't yeah. really, if somebody wants to be convinced of that, you can't really debunk that. I understand these people because he reads off a script, ladies and gentlemen. I know the sheet of music he's singing off of. I know the next line in the, in the, in the chorus. This stuff is scripted. So the establishment comes out and mixes some truth about FEMA camps and things, but then makes jokes about it, mixing it in with patriots and gun owners are dangerous. He's currently doing that. And the people get, some of them get fooled by that. I challenge Glenn Beck. You claim you've been doing research for weeks on this and you can't sleep. Okay, buddy. Everybody's going to email you, your radio show and Fox News, the last 45-minute piece we've done. Your little staffers can watch that, and everything there can be Googled, pulled up from government documents at the army.mil and FBI and everywhere else, and then you'll have a clear picture of what's being set up and how they now have to orchestrate an economic collapse to get us to accept this as society breaks down. If uh, Glenn Beck wants to know if the FEMA camps are real or not, all he has to do is go to the Army War College, the army.mil website, the Army Times, and they say... And it's been all over the Phoenix newspapers. The police say they're ready to work with the military against the people. That their new mission is fighting the American people physically. Chaos is hanging around. Put your ear to the ground. And shut it from the sound. The death machine ain't slowing down. It's gaining pound for pound. A gas man. The couture in the summer of rage The building mass graves within the states You and I, they'll vaccinate They're preparing us for an all-out police state
They state that Congress has no authority during emergencies and the president's basically absolute dictator. When Congress wanted to see the detailed documents, they were told you're not allowed to international security. When Congress is co-equal to the president, that is dictatorship. Let's just let time, and your world is gone.